Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of finance. You are watching Finance Concepts with Nikhil. Friends, I am committed over here to provide to you important contents in the field of finance on a regular basis and so that you should not miss any of my important videos you just need to do one thing you need to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to that channel and once you subscribe to this channel just do not forget to turn on that notification bell and that will keep you posted with all my upcoming videos in this video we will be talking about concept of two-way quote and conversion of direct quote into indirect quote and vice versa so let us first talk about what is a two-way quote friends banks are dealers in foreign exchange that means banks apart from their basic banking operation they also have dealing in foreign exchange as one of their important operations so any bank or any authorized dealer in foreign exchange what they are typically doing they are in the business of buying and selling currencies so they are buying currencies they are selling currencies what do you think the rate at which they buy the currency and the rate at which they sell currency is that going to be a same rate answer is no obviously not if they are into that business they must earn some margin that is profit margin for themselves right and for that they have to buy at a lower rate and sell at a higher rate to maintain that margin of profit and therefore there has to be a difference between the rate at which bank will buy the currency and the rate at which bank will sell the currency now the terms buy and sell can create a confusion that is because the rate at which customer is buying the currency from bank is the same rate at which bank is selling the currency and the rate at which customer sells the currency to the bank is the rate at which bank is buying the currency so buy rate and sell rate are going to create confusions correct therefore we have specific terminology to be used over here known as bid rate and ask rate so when an exchange rate is quoted in this two-way format it is bid rate and ask rate so let us understand what is bid rate and what is ask rate the term bid rate refers to the rate at which bank will buy and customer will sell and ask rate is the rate at which customer will buy and bank will sell now instead of calling buy rate and sell rate when we use the term bid rate and ask rate we are very very clear about what is being talked about so when i say bid rate it is the rate at which bank will buy and customer will sell when i say ask rate it is the rate at which bank will sell the currency and customer is going to buy the currency the difference between ask rate and bid rate will be the profit margin for the bank and so that bank can earn profit bid rate has to be lower the rate at which bank buys bid rate has to be lower and the rate at which bank sells has to be higher that is ask rate has to be higher so ask rate will always be higher than the bid rate fact number one and ask rate minus bid rate will give you the profit margin for the authorized dealer or the bank that is known as spread that means if I create an equation spread equals to ask rate minus bid rate friends whatever I have explained just now I am summarizing the same thing on screen please pay attention so as we have discussed a two-way quote indicates a set of two different rates of exchange known as bid rate and ask rate in a two-way quote the rate at which bank will buy the currency and customer will sell the currency is known as bid rate the rate at which bank will sell the currency and customer will buy the currency is known as ask rate so let us take an example this could be a format of a two-way quote check dollar one equals to rupees 68 to rupees 70 now what is the indication out of this exchange rate the quote is given for one unit of dollar 
but you can see rate of dollar is 68 as well as 70. So 68 and 70 indicates a set of two different rates correct. So 68 in this quote would be known as a bid rate and rupees 70 is the ask rate. Bank will buy currency at bid rate and sell the same at ask rate. Ask rate will always be higher than bid rate and the difference between ask rate and bid rate indicates the margin for the banker which is known as spread. So by equation what we get is spread equals to ask rate minus bid rate. Alright friends let us move ahead and talk about the upcoming next concept that is conversion of quotes. So what we are aiming at converting a direct quote into an indirect quote and vice versa. Look at these examples. If dollar one equals to rupee 65, obviously rupee one will be dollar one by 65. So looking at these two rates, you can identify one thing. For an entity in India, the first rate given over here indicates a direct quote because it is a quote of one unit of foreign currency in terms of local currency. So what did we do to convert a direct quote into an indirect quote? Simple thing, we have taken inverse of the rates. So taking inverse of the rates of a direct quote will give you indirect quote and taking inverse of the rates given in an indirect quote will give you a direct quote. Taking inverse is what you have to do. But my friends, what will happen? You will have to take precautions while dealing with two-way quote. What kind of precautions you should take? I am giving that explanation on screen. Just pay attention. So, by far what we have concluded, inverse of direct quote will be an indirect quote and inverse of an indirect quote will be a direct quote. Take precautions while converting two-way quote from direct to indirect or vice versa. So what kind of caution you need to exercise? Let us try to understand this. Inverse of bid rate of a direct quote will become ask rate in an indirect quote. Inverse of ask rate of a direct quote will become bid rate in an indirect quote. Now friends. This is an important point for you to understand. It is given in your textbooks, no need to write. But what I want you to do is to understand the application of this concept. The point that you find on screen right now. Let us take up a calculative example and that is given in question number 7. Let us read question 7. So what we have in question 7. If the two-way direct quote is dollar one equals to rupees 48 to rupees 50, how will you convert the same into a two-way indirect quote? The answer is going to be simple. What we have learned if we first apply. So this can be done by inverting the rates given in direct quote. The inverse of ask rate in the direct quote shall become bid rate in the indirect quote and inverse of bid rate in the indirect quote shall become ask rate in the direct quote. So friends what you find on screen is the answer for question 7. Though you should not bother to write it down because the answer is also given in your textbook. In fact what I am trying to show you next is worth writing up. So try to understand what we are doing. The given quote is dollar one equals to rupees 48 to rupees 50 and that is a direct quote. Now let us identify what is this 48 and 50. 48 is the bid rate and 50 is the ask rate. Now what happens when you would want to convert this direct quote into an indirect quote, you are going to take inverse, correct? You are going to take inverse of 48 and you are also going to take inverse of 50. Inverse of 48 will be 1 by 48. Inverse of 50 will be 1 by 50. But 48 itself is a bid rate of the direct quote. What will happen when you take the inverse of 48? 
इनवर्स ऑफ फोर्टी एट विल बी वन बाय फोर्टी एट एंड दैट विल बिकम आस्क रेट इन द इनडायरेक्ट कोर्ट सो रूपी वन इक्वल्स टू डॉलर वन बाय फोर्टी एट इज द आस्क रेट इन द इनडायरेक्ट कोर्ट लाइक वाइज वेन यू टेक इनवर्स ऑफ आस्क रेट वॉट यू विल गेट इज बिड रेट इन द इनडायरेक्ट कोर्ट सो द बिड रेट एंड आस्क रेट वॉट वी जस्ट नाउ ऑप्टेन्ड रिप्रेजेंट्स इनडायरेक्ट कोर्ट सो वी हैव रूपी वन इक्वल्स टू डॉलर वन बाय फिफ्टी एज बिड रेट एंड रूपी वन इक्वल्स टू डॉलर वन बाय फोर्टी एट एज आस्क रेट इफ यू वुड वॉन्ट टू यूज कैलक्युलेटर्स एंड वर्कआउट वॉट इज वन बाय फिफ्टी एंड वॉट इज वन बाय फोर्टी एट इट विल बी रूपी वन इक्वल्स टू डॉलर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू टू डॉलर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो एट थ्री थ्री ऑल राइट नाउ ट्राई टू फॉलो वन थिंग बिटवीन फोर्टी एट एंड फिफ्टी which were the rates of the direct quote of dollar what happens 48 is a lower rate 50 is a higher rate and that is why 48 was bid and 50 was ask now what happens when you take the inverse 1 by 50 and 1 by 48 by value 1 by 50 is going to be a lower value as compared to 1 by 48 correct so by default the fundamental concept that the bid rate has to be lower than ask rate will work and this will be bid rate and this will be ask rate however we have yet to understand the detailed reasoning of this whole matter which i am going to explain you right now moreover if you don't understand the reasoning over here you will just keep on mugging up these as rules now rules are different from concepts rules tell you what to do and how to do concepts explain you what to do how to do and most importantly why are you doing that so reasoning is important my friends and what we are learning are no rules these are concepts so for explaining this whole matter conceptually i am picking just one part of the two way code here we find dollar 1 equals to rupees 48 to rupees 50 rupees 48 is the bid rate rupees 50 is the ask rate i am taking only the ask rate for initial understanding so dollar 1 equals to rupees 50 is the ask rate now what is the meaning of ask rate rate at which bank will sell correct so dollar 1 equals to rupees 50 is the rate at which bank is selling dollar so bank sells dollar to you at rupees 50 correct so bank is giving you dollar 1 and taking from you rupees 50 indirectly we can say bank buys from you rupees 50 and gives you in return 1 dollar if bank is buying rupees 50 for 1 dollar each rupee is being bought at what price rupees 50 bought at dollar 1 so each rupee bought at what price the bank is buying each rupee for dollar 1 by 50 so bank is buying each rupee for dollar 1 by 50 and the rate at which bank buys is the bid rate so you see what happened dollar 1 equals to rupees 50 was ask rate by the time we reached the inverse of that when we have stated rupee 1 equals to dollar 1 by 50 it did not remain ask rate it became bid rate so friends what i have just explained you i am showing the same thing on screen please carefully note it down so we are talking about understanding the reasons we started with ask rate that is dollar 1 equals to rupees 50 let us try to follow certain things at rupees 50 bank is willing to sell dollar 1 what does this imply bank gives you dollar 1 and takes rupees 50 that means bank buys rupees 50 for 1 dollar if bank buys rupees 50 for 1 dollar we can say bank buys rupees 1 for dollar 1 by 50 and rupee 1 equals to dollar 1 by 50 is the bid rate for rupee because rate at which bank buys has to be the bid rate friends for your reference i have given the same explanation even in your textbook 
just immediately after the answer to question number 7 so you may even refer your textbook for the same let us move ahead and talk about the other rate that is the bid rate so when it is bid rate as dollar 1 equals to rupees 48 how would you proceed with the reasoning at rupees 48 bank is willing to buy dollar 1 don't forget bid rate is the rate at which bank will buy the currency so at rupees 48 bank is willing to buy dollar 1 what does that imply bank gives you rupees 48 and takes dollar 1 that means bank sells rupees 48 for dollar 1 that means bank is selling each rupee for dollar 1 by 48 and the rate at which bank sells dollars is the ask rate therefore rupee 1 equals to dollar 1 by 48 is the ask rate for rupee and the reason is simple rate at which bank sells has to be the ask rate